Uh, if you look at where we started, I think we have come very, very far. It is important that at least we remind Ghanaians uh, what the situation was when we took over. Not to say we are complaining, that's not our intention. We are doing the job, but it's better to always begin to understand where, how far you have come to appreciate what uh, the MPP government has done. We inherited an economy that was in crisis. If you remember, we have a lot of macroeconomic instabilities, you know, to the extent that the IMF itself was saying that things were pointing to the wrong direction. And for that reason, in 2015, we end up with the IMF program. Today, we are no longer with the IMF. That is one fact. Today, there are no, this is a budget that has been prepared at a point where Ghana is not under any IMF conditionality, which means we have the opportunity to spend, and of course, we also have to be responsible. You mentioned that there's, there's a trend. I mean, I mean, let me just even say this. You know, we had this uh, financial instability where about 10% of the banks were having problems. Today, we have fixed that. We have a situation where interest rate, for instance, was about 25.5%. Today, it's about 16%. Inflation was 15.4%. Today, inflation is, what, 7.6%. Deficit, you know, which we used to be uh, old series, it was about 9.3 percent. Today, as we speak, it's well under 5 percent. I mean, with this uh, 2019. So, what we have to do is that how can we continue to ensure that these gains that we have chalked so far can be sustained and probably consolidated? And of course, that's not to say that uh, all the mess we inherited, we have finished everything. Of course, there are some few difficulties that we still have to do, but at least from how far we've come, we've done very, very well. We have the energy crisis. It's still a problem that we need to deal with. Okay? We have excess capacity we are paying for about a billion dollars a year. We have to deal with it. We have to negotiate. It's still hanging on our neck. We have not completed that. So there are still other bigger issues that we inherit. So I expect that given that 2019, 20, the budget that is coming is for 2020 election year. We are going to try to stay within the law that we brought to Parliament in December. Which is a 5%. Which is a 5%, the Fiscal Cap Responsibility Act. Because if you overspend during election year, that is what gets you into trouble. Because you are trying to win the election by hook or crook. You do projects that you don't, sometimes you don't even think about. You know, people don't think through about issues just to please voters. Buy votes with those projects. Vote buying projects is what we used to, we used to do at the